This is a story that came from one of my subscribers, Astarte Jones. I want to thank you for sending this story. Two men arrested at Starbucks reach settlement with the city. <laughs> Everybody's got a price tag, right? All right, let's go ahead and listen to this video. dollar each for the two men put in handcuffs for just waiting at a Starbucks. Their story touched off a firestorm nationwide, and tonight they've reached a settlement with the city of Philadelphia for a dollar each and a promise. Rashawn Nelson and Dante Robinson say they thought about it and they believe the symbolic dollar, along with a promise to set up a $200,000 program for young entrepreneurs, is the best way to see the change they have been hoping for. In an interview last month, they said, quote, it's not just a black people thing, it's a people thing. And that's exactly what we want to see out of this true change. It has happened again. Are, are they kidding me? No, this ain't no people thing. It's not no people thing that got arrested out of there. It was two black guys. Okay. Ooh, we got to stop buying this garbage. Just these cliches that they keep telling us. Oh, we're all part of the human race. No, we're not. <laughs> Some people are hybrids. Oh, man. Here we go again. I guess Starbucks is coming out cheap. It seemed like they got the best deal out of the whole thing. So you see what they did. They settled for a dollar each and a very cheap program, $200,000 program for young entrepreneurs. Now see, it would be one thing if it said young black entrepreneurs but they said entrepreneurs so we know we know where that two hundred thousand dollars is going this is a joke they should have just took this to oh forget it forget it the men's lawyer and mayor jim kenny outlined the agreement to the associated press what a joke I am pleased to have resolved the potential claim against the city and the um, productive in a productive manner, Kenny said. It was an incident that evoked a lot of pain in our city and put us under a national spotlight for unwanted reasons. See, and that's the reason why they wanted to resolve it. You know, this is a big tourist season for Philadelphia. A lot of folks come to the city from other places and they don't want you cutting into their money. Wow. The arrest of Rashawn Nelson and Dante Robinson on April 12th touched off a furor around the U.S. over racial profiling. They were led away in handcuffs after the manager, which we know is Heather Heyer, called police saying the men refused to buy uh, anything or leave. And she never approached these two. She called the cops two minutes after they walked in there. And there were other people sitting in Starbucks at that time that did not buy anything. And they were in there prior to these men walking in. Oh, they spent hours in jail, they were released, and no charges were filed. The men said they were waiting at the coffee shop in the city, a uh, well-to-do Rittenhouse Square neighborhood for a business meeting with a third man. And that was actually the man talking to the cops. The, the white man that was talking to the cops saying, well, what did they do? That was the man they were meeting. Okay. Um, and they were doing a real estate opportunity. The mayor said Nelson and Robinson approached the city about working together 
making something positive uh, come of this. Why? Why? You know, I, I could see if you did this and racism suddenly disappear, but you're doing this and racism is still there. The entrepreneur program will be for Philadelphia public school students. Okay, well, which ones? Wow. This was the deal they worked out, a $1 deal and a $200,000 entrepreneur program. Wow. I, I can't even go on with this story, y'all. <laughs> I can't even go on with this story. We got to stop selling ourselves short, y'all. We got to stop doing that. The only one that benefited from this deal is Starbucks. And it should not have been the case, but it is in the city of Philadelphia. They're the only ones that benefited in this deal. And the two that were discriminated against, they're walking away with nothing. A dollar. <sighs> please tell me what you think. Please leave, please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on the notification bell and join me on Black Junction TV, blackspot.com. And if you have an Android device, please download my um, app out on Google Play. You will see the link to it in the comment section. Peace, family.